temperatures are minus 12 degrees. You can see the frost on my sleeping bag. Surviving only on salt and water, his hunger strike is on its 15th day. To expose the extent of Chinese intrusion and takeover of land by Indian corporates, he has announced a march of 10,000 Ladakhis. We'll actually do an on-ground check, a border march. On 27th March, a day after I end my fast, if I am informed, we'll travel to the border showing you live footage along with nomadic leaders leading us. Some 10,000 Ladakhi people will march to the borders. Wangchuk has become the face of the mass protest in Ladakh. Thousands took to the streets of Ladakh to protest despite the harsh cold. Ladakhis observed a complete shutdown last month. Wang Chuk has been fasting since March 6 in the open in sub-zero temperature in Leh. And here, this is the glass of water I had kept, frozen solid. And uh, this is my laptop, all frosted up, you can see. And this is my sleeping bag with ice all over. As he continues to press for demands for constitutional safeguards of Ladakh, and protection of ecologically fragile Ladakh's ecosystem from industrial and mining lobbies. Wang Chuk is now accompanied by scores of locals. Along with some 250 people who have been sleeping here out in the open with me. Now what are the demands? Statehood of Ladakh and protection under the 6th schedule of constitution for the UT. They also demand job security and separate Lok Sabha seat in parliament for Kargil and Leh. Now to understand this better, after the abrogation of Article 317 August 2019, Jammu and Kashmir was divided into two UT, Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. Initially, while Ladakh welcomed the UT status, now they feel that they have been robbed of the democratic rights. Ladakh has since been without an elected legislature. Union territories like New Delhi and Pondicherry have their own legislative assemblies. Residents of Ladakh have expressed dissatisfaction with prolonged bureaucratic rule in the Union territory. They assert that full statehood which enables them to elect their representative to govern the region can meet the demands. Braving sub-zero temperatures, environmentalist Wang Chuk began his fast after talks between the joint representatives of Lee based apex body with the Kargil Democratic Alliance and the central government hit a deadlock. Wang Chuk now holds that while Jammu and Kashmir is likely to get full democracy after assembly elections, Ladakh will be run by bureaucracy. Wang Chuk also claims that the UT tag has made Ladakh vulnerable to industrial exploitation, this could devastate the fragile ecosystem of the Himalayan region. The 57-year-old had also gone on a fast last year, asking for the protection of environmentally sensitive region of Ladakh. Born in 1966, Wang Chuk is known for innovations linked to sustainability. He is the founding director of the Himalayan Institute of Alternatives, Ladakh. 